Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome back to our coverage of the 888 Live in London. There are two very fantastic players here today, Melanie Weissner as well as Dominic Nietzsche. And for those who don't know, not only are they exceptional poker players, they're also foodies and best friends. I decided to test their knowledge of each other and their food game. What is Dominic's favorite stop to play poker at? Ooh, um, wow, this is really tough. I, I feel like the answer should be World Series because he's won all his bracelets, but San Remo's a good option. He loves Italy. Uh, Barcelona with all the food. This is, this is too hard. I want to say, I want to say Barcelona. Probably also Barcelona and very much for the same reason, which is food. What's your favorite poker stop? I think it's uh, South Africa or Australia, one of the two. I was gonna say LA, but she lives in LA, so it probably doesn't count, so I'm gonna go with Barcelona. Because of the food. I was gonna snap say Berlin or something. Okay, what would he say is the best meal he's ever had? Tickets. I was in Tokyo earlier this year, so I'd say uh, I've had a few better meals in Tokyo. Sick brag. Yeah. What would be his go-to cheat meal? I, I was going to say as far as I know, but I actually know beyond the shadow of a doubt that he has never worked out in his life, so I don't think he has any cheat meals. This is a trick question. No, I'm, I, eat, I eat all kinds of food, so whatever I can find in the city, I'll... Uh... Um, who's more aggressive on the poker table? Um... Probably Dominic. I was going to say me, but I've seen some of her, of her recent hands, and I'm going to go with her. Ooh. She said you, but she wasn't 100% sure. Get deep in here and do your best Dominic poker face to the camera. <laughs> now, the most important moment that we've all been waiting for, to the camera. Give me your version of Melanie's poker face. Melanie does not really have a poker face. She's always like smiling and happy and I don't know, she doesn't really stare people down, so she's like, ha. And actually like she makes people fall that way, which is probably good. Good. And the Dominic uh, <laughs> food orgasm face. <laughs> to the camera, oh don't be God. looking at me. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. He didn't even do a face. That wasn't That's, even a face. No, but it's like, this is like, sorry, it's like, this is so good. Dominic, you have to try this. Now that both of you have essentially heard all of the answers of <laughs> both of the other people, I feel pretty confident that your relationship is very solid. Were you surprised by anything? No. Were you surprised by anything? No. <laughs> it's a match that made a in that a good Dominic impression. Yes. <laughs> foodie heaven. Match made in foodie heaven That's right great. here. And finally, <laughs> I just want to see, because he was saying that your poker face was like this. <laughs> what is your poker face really like? I don't want to look directly at you with it because I'm afraid it might burn you. That's what I was thinking. I feel like her <laughs> poker face has like a really high, really scary eyebrow and like I am get out of the line of fire. Okay, they clearly have some really important food to go eat. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You can get more coverage of all things poker and maybe some things food on pokernews.com.